Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, the guys at Pixiologic, the makers of ZBrush, have gone ahead to announce something that is coming very soon. So, what they're announcing today has to do with the brand new version of ZBrush, which is ZBrush 2020. So, it turns out that come the 12th of November 2019, ZBrush 2020 will be available. And they've actually not just announced this, but they've gone ahead to actually tease a couple of updates that will be coming. Updates that we've already covered in the previous video, link to that is going to be in the description in case you want to see that when they did the ZBrush Summit. But now these updates are now confirmed. They are confirmed because they are coming to the brand new version of ZBrush. And one of the very cool ones that is coming over to ZBrush is the fact that you can now sculpt and paint directly on your UVs. This is insane. It is actually something that a lot of people have prayed for. I've actually wished for a day this is going to be possible. And seeing it coming over to ZBrush for real is just going to be so mind blowing. The fact that you can paint directly on your UVs in ZBrush is definitely, definitely going to be a huge game changer. Another cool thing that is coming over here is the extractor brush. So with the extractor brush, you can now simply drag a stroke across the surface of any model just to capture the detail that you have on that model and you can take that detail and simply paint it across any other surface that you want. And having a full confirmation that this is coming over to the brand new version of ZBrush is definitely going to change the way people would sculpt, it's definitely going to change the way you add details and it's going to reduce how much time you spend trying to create that particular kind of alpha that you've used before and you want to actually go ahead and reuse it. Now another new cool feature is the history recall. So have you been in that situation before where you just want to undo a satin part just a very minimal part of your stuff but at the end of the day you know zbrush it ends up just undoing the whole thing now there is a brand new history recall so with the brand new history recall you can do so many things and you can recall the history back this is more like you know having the time stone in your hand and you're doing the whole doctor strange thing directly in zbrush to me this is huge game changer the features that are coming over to the brand new version of zbrush is so impressive and i can literally see that to every single feature that they've actually gone ahead to announce that it is definitely going to change the way you sculpt and the way you react to you know using your brushes there is also a move infinite depth that deals with how you can move your stuff you can now go ahead and pick multiple colors and even select just one single color and change how this color reacts so you know the whole way where you want to override a certain color you want to have variations of colors instead of making variations of the same material over and over right now you can directly here in zbrush pick up a certain color, mask by that same color, adjust the color and do whatever thing that you want. So you can have several variations of one particular model on the fly. Now let's talk about something else that is going to make a lot of people that are into 3D printing smile a whole lot more. We did cover this before but now you can easily analyze your models, you can check out how thick the walls of your model is, you can even go directly inside and evaluate this thing, re-evaluate them as well, check out these things in real time, make sure that your model is proper and ready for 3D printing. Now to any of these things that you would like to do, link to where you can find out more details about this. It's going to be in the description so you can actually check these things out. ZBrush have gone through and created a view cube. More like a view cube, but they call it cam view. So with a cam view now, you can move your camera in specific axis. You know when you have to hold down shift and you have to lock different camera positions at different times when you're working in ZBrush. Now, those days are gone. You can now literally move your camera to the side view, front view, left view, and also the back view. So to any view that you want, you can go there and change it. And a cool feature, which I think they also teased, is the fact that you can also change what view cube or what camera view you want. So if you want to change the widget, you can still go in there and play with the widgets, change this thing as you want. And silhouette is also another thing that is coming over to ZBrush. So there is now a brand new real-time silhouette that exists now in ZBrush. So object really needs to look very readable in silhouette and that is why the guys at Pixelogic have gone through and added a brand new real-time silhouette view. So with the real-time silhouette view, you can now actually take a look at your object, know what and what you want to add to it, know if you're actually getting the right proportions well, and you can evaluate this 
with so much creative freedom. So there is a brand new Zizu. So Shane Olsen have gone ahead to actually make mannequins and Z spheres of characters that you can play with. So in case you want to create the next level or you just want to get something that you would use more like the basis of creating your next character, of course, you know, give a huge shout out to Shane Olsen every single time you use this because now you don't necessarily need to start blocking these things out as he has made this very, very possible. And a huge shout out to the guys at Pixelogic for giving him this opportunity to create this amazing piece of artworks for everyone to be able to play with. The decor curve brush is also coming and this has to do with the 2.5D and at the same time there is a couple of fixes that will be coming over to ZBrush. And that's about it. There's a couple of release notes that is available here. Link to where you can find them is going to be in the description. And if you want to get ZBrush right now, there is some sort of, you know, special offers that is available here from the guys at Pixelogic. And you can come through, cash out within this period and get these limited offers that are available right now. I would like to know what you guys think about the new version of ZBrush coming. I kind of think that with all of these updates coming, we are going to have a swell time working in ZBrush from now henceforth. There is no huge talk about the whole UV thing. The only huge talk that we got from the UV is that you can sculpt, which is super cool. But you know, the other time they got to tease about the whole UV editing thingy, but now we don't see any touch lights coming from there. And at the same time, there is also no huge update coming to the Z modeler. I would like to know what your thoughts about that also is in the comment section. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button and also turn on the notification. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.